was literally only 12. My name's Darcy Lynn. <laughs> Darcy Lynn Farmer is an exceptionally talented young ventriloquist, singer, and musician whose talents have overtaken the world of young entertainers and broken records when, at the age of 12, she became the youngest person in history to win America's Got Talent. Darcy Lynn's pitch-perfect performances have solidified her as one of the great acts to emerge from the AGT platform and enter the realm of entertainment. Today we will explore the charming origins of Darcy Lynn Farmer's career as a ventriloquist, singer, comedian, and musician, and the inspiring roots of her talents. Darcy Lynn Farmer's Early Life Darcy Lynn Farmer was born in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma on October 12, 2004. Lynn has three brothers, Nate, Dalton, and Nick, and her parents are Clark and Misty Farmer. As a child, Lynn loved to sing, but her shyness prevented her from ever performing on stage in front of an audience. However, Clark and Misty Farmer noted their daughter's raw talent and natural charisma and encouraged her to overcome her stage fright by participating in the 2014 International Cinderella Scholarship Program. Lynn was crowned International Mini Miss at the pageant. This was also the birthplace of her love for ventriloquy, following her introduction to the pageant's international teen title holder, Larissa Bonacquisti. Bonacquisti had found success in the competition by performing as a ventriloquist. This interaction would ultimately catalyze Lynn's newfound obsession with ventriloquy and form the origin story for her ensuing streak of record-breaking triumphs. After meeting Bonacquisti, Lynn decided to try ventriloquy and practiced intensely for one month under her new friend's guidance. Before entering the world of pageants, Lynn had been a dedicated gymnast, practicing upwards of 30 hours a week. This impressed Lynn with her grit, determination, and drive, which helped her excel in her ventriloquy studies. Inspired by Bonacquisti and ventriloquists such as Terry Fator, Lynn acquired her first puppet. She then entered Edmund's Got Talent and won first prize for her ventriloquy act. Ventriloquy coach and seasoned performer Gary Owen was reportedly so impressed by Lynn's performance that he offered to serve as her trainer and business manager. Since then, Owen has been Lynn's primary ventriloquy coach while she received vocal lessons from Tiana Plemons. The following year, Lynn won first place in Oklahoma Kids and the junior division of Oklahoma's Got Talent. Additionally, she won several awards from American Kids in Branson, Missouri, including Broadway, Specialty Acts, and Entertainer of the Year. By the time she was in seventh grade, Lynn attended Deer Creek Middle School. In March 2016, she made her first televised appearance on Little Big Shots, a variety show co-created by Steve Harvey and Ellen DeGeneres. Darcy Lynn performed I Want to Be a Cowboy Sweetheart there with her cowgirl puppet, Katie. The performance served as the world's first introduction to the massively talented Darcy Lynn Farmer. And a few months later, she became the first child ventriloquist to perform at an evening show in the 40-year history of the Vent Haven Convention, where she fronted for ventriloquists Todd Oliver and Kevin Johnson. She would return to the screen on the British version of Little Big Shots in March 2017, again performing I Want to Be a Cowboy's Sweetheart with Katie. Darcy Lynn's transition to the national stage marked a pivotal moment that would irrevocably alter the course of her life and solidify her status as a rising star destined for greatness. She soon embarked on a journey with promise, potential, and boundless opportunity. With each mesmerizing performance, Darcy Lynn would capture the hearts and imaginations of audiences far and wide, leaving an indelible impression that would resonate long after the final curtain fell. Darcy Lynn's next venture onto the national stage would change her life forever and cement the young star as one of the greats to watch. Darcy Lynn Farmer Rocks, the AGT Stage Darcy Lynn's pivotal moment occurred during her unforgettable audition for America's Got Talent, which would forever alter her destiny. It was on May 30th, 2017 that the eagerly awaited premiere of season 12 unfolded, marking the commencement of a journey that would propel Darcy Lynn into the spotlight in a way she had never imagined. Funnily enough, the impressive young lady missed her first day of seventh grade to attend the audition. 
Taking to the stage alongside her endearing puppet companion, Petunia Rabbit, Darcy Lynn unleashed her extraordinary talent with a mesmerizing rendition of Summertime from the iconic opera Porgy and Bess. From the very first note, it was abundantly clear that something truly magical was unfolding before the judges and the audience's eyes. The performance was sensational, captivating the hearts and minds of all who witnessed it. Judge Mel B, renowned for her discerning eye, unwavering standards, and iconic participation in the girl group Spice Girls, lavished praise upon Darcy Lynn, recognizing the young ventriloquist's unparalleled skill and undeniable star quality. In a moment of sheer joy and triumph, Mel B bestowed upon Darcy Lynn the ultimate accolade, the coveted golden buzzer. This prestigious honor not only served as a testament to Darcy Lynn's exceptional talent, but also granted her the unparalleled opportunity to bypass the nerve-wracking judge cuts and propel herself directly into the live quarterfinals of the competition. The reverberations of that golden buzzer moment would echo far beyond the confines of the America's Got Talent stage, reverberating throughout Darcy Lynn's life in ways she could scarcely have imagined. It began a remarkable journey filled with unprecedented opportunities, boundless creativity and unwavering determination. As Darcy Lynn embarked on this exhilarating new chapter of her life, she carried with her the indelible memory of that transformative audition. This moment not only changed her career trajectory, but also solidified her status as one of the most beloved and iconic figures in the annals of America's Got Talent history. A video of Lynn's audition was posted online and became the show's most viewed clip within 30 hours of its release. Additionally, the video would later place fourth on YouTube's list of top 10 trending videos of 2017. The audition showcased Darcy Lynn's undeniable charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. Lynn appeared as a master of ventriloquy despite being relatively new to the art form. Additionally, her vocal chops impressed the judges, showing off her wide range and set of skills. When Lynn returned to the stage for her first live performance after receiving the golden buzzer, she performed Who's Lovin' You? with her mouse puppet Oscar. The performance once again blew audience members away, forming the basis of Lynn's loyal fan base. She followed the performance with a rendition of You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman with puppet Edna Doorknocker at the semifinals. The performance, which includes Edna serenading her celebrity crush, has gone down in history as one of the only AGT acts to make Simon Cowell blush. For the final round of competition, Lynn performed with a little help from my friends with Petunia and Oscar. The performance showcased Lynn's versatile vocal range and unbeatable stage presence. After the performance, Simon Cowell said, you are special, incredible, talented, funny. I think you're going to win. For the show's finale episode, the winner is announced. Lynn performed a rendition of Anything You Can Do with the season two winner, Terry Fader. The performance expertly fed into the reality that Cowell's prediction had come true, and Darcy Lynn Farmer was crowned the winner of America's Got Talent Season 12. After announcing her success, NBC released a statement declaring that Lynn had received the most votes out of any finale performance in the show's history. Darcy Lynn finds success after America's Got Talent. Darcy Lynn was ready to enter the spotlight and surpass expectations after becoming the youngest person in the show's history to have won America's Got Talent. In September 2017, Lynn appeared on The Ellen DeGeneres Show. During the interview, Lynn discussed the pressures of competing against Angelica Hale, her friend and fellow performer. She concluded her appearance with a reprised performance of Summertime with Petunia. Shortly after, Lynn appeared in a video by Jeff Dunham, a fellow ventriloquist, stand-up comedian, and actor. The video, The Haunted House on Dunham Hill, follows Lynn and three of her puppets, Petunia, Oscar, and Edna, as they go trick-or-treating at Dunham's home. Soon enough, Lynn and the puppets run into Dunham and his puppets, Peanut, Ahmed, Walter, and Bubba J. In November of 2017, Darcy Lynn made a guest appearance at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Tulsa, where Terry Fator performed his ventriloquy act. 
Later that month, she filmed alongside Pentatonix for an appearance in a very Pentatonix Christmas special, performing a parody of O Christmas Tree called O Easter Egg with the help of Petunia Rabbit. Fans of the young ventriloquist were delighted when Darcy Lynn announced her national tour, Darcy Lynn and Friends Live, would embark in January and February of 2018. The tour was announced in late 2017 and was later expanded to 57 shows, which took place between January 2018 and January 2019. Nine of these shows were specialty Christmas performances called Rocking Around the Christmas Tree with Darcy Lynn and Friends. In the final month of 2017, Lynn appeared at Madison Square Garden as a part of the One Night with the Stars charity event. Afterward, Lynn was set to finally return to her hometown following her AGT victory. Her homecoming show, iHeartMedia and KJ103 present Darcy Lynn, was scheduled for December 16th and sold out within six minutes of the tickets being sold. Consequently, a matinee show and two additional performances were added on December 17th. Darcy Lynn's meteoric rise to fame had set a new standard in talent competitions, surpassing even the loftiest expectations set by past winners of America's Got Talent. Her journey from an aspiring young ventriloquist to a bona fide sensation had captivated the hearts and minds of audiences worldwide, garnering adoration and acclaim unprecedented in the show's history. From the moment she first graced the America's Got Talent stage, it became abundantly clear that Darcy Lynn possessed a rare and undeniable talent that transcended the confines of traditional entertainment. With her endearing personality and extraordinary ventriloquism skills, she effortlessly charmed judges and viewers alike, captivating audiences with her hilarious antics and impeccable performances alongside her lovable puppet companions. The public's fascination with Darcy Lynn and her delightful puppets reached a fever pitch as she continued to dominate the entertainment landscape with her infectious energy and undeniable charm. It seemed everyone couldn't get enough of the talented young ventriloquist and the whimsical characters that brought her performances to life. As the year drew to a close and the world prepared to ring in the new year, Darcy Lynn found herself on one of the biggest stages of her career. On New Year's Eve of 2017, she had the honor of sharing the spotlight with the legendary Fergie at the iconic Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. The electrifying performance was a testament to Darcy Lynn's skyrocketing success and her ability to captivate audiences on a global scale. In the glitz and glamour of Las Vegas, amidst the dazzling lights and the palpable excitement of New Year's Eve, Darcy Lynn proved once again why she was a force to be reckoned with in the entertainment industry. Her performance alongside Fergie served as a fitting culmination of her remarkable journey from humble beginnings to international stardom, solidifying her status as one of her generation's most beloved and talented performers. Continuing her victory lap, Darcy Lynn appeared on The Today Show with Oscar, and the two performed a reprisal of Who's Lovin' You? Two months later, she appeared on the country music radio broadcast Grand Ole Opry and made a cameo appearance on the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. In April of 2018, she made a comeback on Little Big Shots, dazzling audiences with a rendition of Shout by the Isley Brothers alongside her puppet Oscar. Following this, in May 2018, Lynn graced the set of Pickler and Ben alongside her puppet Katie to discuss her recent victory. In July of the same year, she participated in the prestigious 2018 Starkey Hearing Foundation Gala, an annual event dedicated to providing hearing aids and hearing healthcare services to individuals in need worldwide. The gala serves as a fundraiser to support the foundation's mission and raise awareness about hearing health issues. Darcy Lynn returned to the stage of America's Got Talent in August 2018 as a guest performer where she mesmerized the audience with a rendition of Show Off from the Drowsy Chaperone, accompanied by Petunia. The following month, she appeared on an episode of Kids Baking Championship, where she and her co-stars prepared over-the-top popcorn desserts. In November 2018, she showcased her talent on Steve Harvey's syndicated talk show Steve, 
delivering a heartwarming performance of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer alongside Petunia. Later that same month, during NBC's Christmas in Rockefeller Center telecast, she charmed viewers with a rendition of Jingle Bell Rock, once again accompanied by Petunia. Darcy Lynn's on-screen career. Before the year's end, Lynn returned to both Pickler and Ben and the Grand Ole Opry. Additionally, she was given the opportunity to create professionally recorded voice work for the character of Daisy in Fancy Nancy. Darcy Lynn's rise to stardom reached new heights when she was given the extraordinary opportunity to headline her very own Christmas special, Darcy Lynn, My Hometown Christmas, which aired on the NBC network. This monumental event marked a significant milestone in her career, showcasing her unparalleled talents as both a ventriloquist and a singer in a festive and heartwarming setting. The enchanting television special blended non-ventriloquial and ventriloquial performances, featuring Darcy Lynn's beloved puppet characters such as Petunia, Oscar, Edna, and Katie. Each performance was imbued with the magic of the holiday season, captivating audiences with their charm and musical prowess. The star-studded guest appearances from various celebrities made the Christmas special truly unforgettable, adding an extra layer of glamour and excitement to the proceedings. Darcy Lynn had the privilege of sharing the stage with esteemed artists such as the incomparable violinist Lindsay Sterling, country music icon Toby Keith, Broadway sensation Kristen Chenoweth, country heartthrob Hunter Hayes, and the sensational a cappella group Pentatonix. In a delightful twist of fate, the special also featured a side-splitting comedic sketch that brought together the very judges who had played a pivotal role in Darcy Lynn's journey to fame and fortune on America's Got Talent. Simon Cowell, Mel B, Howie Mandel, and Heidi Klum, whose unwavering support and recognition had changed Darcy Lynn's life forever, lent their comedic talents to the sketch, creating a moment of sheer hilarity and nostalgia for fans of the show. Darcy Lynn, my Hometown Christmas was not just a television special, but a celebration of talent, joy, and the spirit of giving. Through her enchanting performances and infectious charm, Darcy Lynn spread holiday cheer to millions of viewers nationwide, cementing her status as one of the brightest stars in the entertainment industry. Darcy Lynn returns to America's Got Talent and embarks on more tours. Before returning to the AGT stage, Darcy Lynn made a quick pit stop on the television show Winner Cake All. Her guest appearance highlighted her upcoming 14th birthday party, her exciting future career, and a retrospective look at her success on America's Got Talent just a year and a half before. As it would turn out, Lynn returned to the show that changed her life as a contestant on America's Got Talent, The Champions. During her preliminary audition, Lynn performed a mashup of Nutbush City Limits and Proud Mary with Oscar's help. The performance demonstrated Lynn's newfound maturity as a performer, highlighting a comparatively relaxed composure from her debut. Her electrifying performance made the top three, although she did not receive enough votes to continue to the next round of taping. However, Darcy Lynn was brought back as a wild card act or a contestant who is given a second chance to compete in the show after initially being eliminated. She returned with a show-stopping performance of O Mio Bambino Caro, with Petunia at the finals and advanced to the finale. The operatic performance unbelievably revealed yet another layer of Darcy Lynn's talent that had previously flown under the radar. The performance is exceptional, and Lynn's adolescence makes it all the more impressive. She received a stadium-wide standing ovation and high praise from the judges. I actually believe this for so many reasons is your best ever performance you've given, said Simon Cowell. At the results show of America's Got Talent, The Champions, Lynn performed alongside Bill Beretta, an acclaimed puppeteer, a rendition of Can't Smile Without You, with Lynn portraying Edna and Barrera as Rolf the Dog from The Muppets. Once again, the performance was spectacular and nearly flawless, but due to the caliber of talent possessed by her competitors, Lin placed as first runner behind magician Shin Lim. Lin's second tour was announced in October 2018, and in February 2019, Darcy Lin and friends, fresh out of the box, embarked on a tour across the United States, from New York to Nevada. 
The stage had transformed into a platform where Lynn could fully express herself and showcase her remarkable talents to a global audience. Her flawless ventriloquism skills, especially at such a young age, were consistently astonishing and inspired future generations to preserve the art form. Moreover, when she sang, Lynn's voice had a mesmerizing effect, leaving her audience breathless. Aside from stage appearances on her tour, Lynn made several guest appearances throughout 2019. In March, she appeared as a guest for two stops on the Barbie B Anything tour. The following month, she appeared in Washington for an appearance at a WE Day event. By September, she was on the AGT stage once again. Along with season 12 finalist Preacher Lawson, Lynn performed It's a Man's 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 World with Petunia. A few months later, Lynn guest starred as a musical guest on the comedy sketch show All That Again with Petunia before attending another WE Day event in Vancouver. In February 2020, Darcy Lynn performed Something's Got a Hold on Me with Oscar on The Kelly Clarkson Show, and the duo returned to the show two months later. In July of that year, Darcy Lynn joined the panel of judges on Nickelodeon's Unfiltered, an American game show hosted by Jay Farrow. Later that year, she returned to all that as a musical guest performing Something's Got a Hold on Me with Oscar. In August 2020, the AGT alum returned to America's Got Talent as a guest performer where she introduced her brand new one-eyed monster puppet, Ivan. In April 2021, Lynn made a guest appearance as the Wombat in the side hustle episode, Make a Mutt. By June, she had another stint on The Ellen DeGeneres Show. In July 2021, Lynn embarked on a new tour titled, My Lips Are Sealed, Except When They're Not, which continued until November 2022. August 2021 saw her return to America's Got Talent for the fourth time as a guest, where she performed Let the Good Times Roll by Louis Jordan alongside Oscar. Her venture into feature films commenced in April 2022 with her role in A Cowgirl Song, marking her debut in cinema alongside Cheryl Ladd, Savannah Lee May, and Jason Allen Smith. What's next for Darcy Lynn Farmer? In July 2022, amidst the excitement of America's Got Talent's thrilling 17th season, renowned judge Simon Cowell took a poignant moment to reflect on the show's illustrious history. In a particular segment, he shared his personal top 15 golden buzzer moments, a testament to the extraordinary talent that has graced the stage over the years. Cowell named Darcy Lynn as the second most impactful golden buzzer moment, for it showcased the exceptional artistry that America's Got Talent has featured throughout its remarkable journey. This recognition affirmed Lynn's remarkable abilities and underscored the profound impact she had made on both the judges and audiences alike. Her mesmerizing presence and unparalleled skill had resonated deeply with viewers, earning her a well-deserved place among the show's most cherished moments. A few weeks later, Lynn performed during the show's 17th season finale alongside Terry Fator and Celia Munoz, an object ventriloquist, with a rendition of Over the Rainbow. In 2024, Lynn was confirmed as a contestant on America's Got Talent Fantasy League, with Heidi Klum signed on as her mentor. In her qualifying performance, Lynn managed to ruffle a few feathers. Deciding to do something different on the AGT stage, Darcy Lynn boldly stood alone and strummed a guitar while Petunia Rabbit rocked out on her own. The performance showcased Lynn's new and improved vocal range as a 19-year-old, Seven years after her debut on the AGT stage and historic golden buzzer, Lynn was ready to show the world that she was more than simply a ventriloquist. With a rendition of I've Got the Music in Me, Lynn and Petunia rocked the house with Lynn showing off her newly acquired skills on the electric guitar. Despite Lynn's attempt to showcase her artistic evolution, the judges were not as impressed with the performance as they had been upon her debut. Howie Mandel and Heidi Klum were supportive, although Mel B and Simon Cowell expressed disappointment. Cowell said, There are very few people in the world who can do what you do. The singing and the ventriloquism together is your, what I call, your USP, your unique selling point. And I think we were distracted away from what you do so brilliantly. The good news is, it's not down to us. It's down to the audience. 
Despite the judge's tepid reactions to Lin's rebooted act, the rising star garnered enough votes to advance to the next round of the competition, the semi-finals. I think as an artist you need to follow your own instincts. You have to do what's in your gut, said Mel B, one of Lin's most vocal supporters since her first day on the AGT stage. Howie Mandel seemed to appreciate Lin's surprising performance, comparing her to the show's announcer, Terry Crews, and his multifaceted career. However, Melby was less than enthusiastic. I do agree with what you're both saying, but this is a competition, and you have to remember what you came into this with. She even went so far as to ask Lynn on the spot if the decision to sing Sans Puppet was her decision or if it had resulted from her parents' wishes. I've always believed that the most successful people in life are the people who make their own decisions and don't listen to other people, Mel B said, referring to the judge's previous critiques of Lynn's qualifying performance, which she ignored. Good for you for sticking with your guns, Cowell finished, praising Lynn's boldness. Sadly, Lynn's fearlessness proved too much for viewers, and she failed to accumulate enough votes to advance further in the competition. Darcy Lynn was consequently eliminated from the competition. Darcy Lynn, a rising star to watch. It has been just over seven years since Lynn took to the stage on America's Got Talent and changed the course of the show's run, becoming the youngest person in its history to win the grand prize. The audition has garnered over 70 million views on YouTube, and Lynn's career has continued to excel. Darcy Lynn's return to the stage, which made her famous, highlighted her desire to be seen as a serious entertainer. So often, young women are put in a box for the sake of Hollywood and Hollywood elites. In a genuinely inspirational and authentic display, Lynn returned in her own way, performing by herself and letting her talents shine. When in the planning stage of her return to America's Got Talent, Lynn spoke to a local publication. How was I going to come back and blow the roof off the place? I would definitely consider Petunia to be my lucky charm. She helped me get the golden buzzer and win season 12. She is a diva and she likes to win. However, in the 11th hour of decision-making, Lynn drastically departed from the judges' and viewers' expectations. She ultimately performed an original song showing off her powerful vocal stylings, newfound talent on the guitar, and onstage persona that rivaled Carrie Underwood. Lynn's bold decision to perform her original song, Push Our Luck, further exemplifies the artist's unwavering dedication to the art of entertainment and her ever-evolving book of tricks. Even though her boldness effectively disqualified her from America's Got Talent Fantasy League, Lynn's determination to push the boundaries of her creative archetype continually is truly unmatched by her contemporaries, especially those under the age of 20. She remains a pillar of encouragement for young artists worldwide whose talents, such as ventriloquy, might not be fully represented in mainstream media. Given Lynn's wide range of talents and seemingly effortless stage presence, it's difficult to predict what the superstar has in store for the future. However, Lynn will likely continue to pursue her music career as a solo artist without her beloved puppets as she matures into the next stage of her adult life. Darcy Lynn will likely continue to tour nationally or internationally, performing her ventriloquism act in theaters, arenas, and other venues. It is likely that Darcy Lynn fans can expect performances in the form of solo shows or collaborations with other artists. She could explore different formats for her performances and venture into the music industry with her singing talent and unique performance style. She might release albums, singles, or music videos as a solo artist or in collaboration with other musicians. Like many entertainers, Darcy Lynn could expand her presence on social media platforms and create digital content such as vlogs, sketches, or tutorials. This would allow her to connect with fans more personally and reach new audiences. With her platform and influence, Darcy Lynn may become involved in charitable causes or advocacy efforts that are important to her. This could include raising awareness for children's education, mental health, or animal welfare issues. Given her success on America's Got Talent and her natural charisma on screen, 
Darcy Lynn will likely explore opportunities in television and film. This could involve guest appearances, hosting gigs, or even acting roles in movies or television shows. Ultimately, the future is full of possibilities for Darcy Lynn Farmer, and she may choose to pursue a combination of these paths or explore entirely new opportunities as her career continues to evolve. If there is anything true about the ultra-talented young star, she has a world of possibilities at her disposal. We can't wait to see what she does next. Thanks for watching. While you're still here, check out one of the other videos you see on your screen to continue on your ultimate expedition. You won't want to miss it.